everybody, and welcome back. Today's featured guitar tone patch is going to be the legendary Gary Moore. This is a very uh, awesome patch, very great for long sustained bends and leads for a slow ballad. You can use it for raunching uh, melodic uh, solos. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out, as you've already heard in the demo. So let's go ahead and crank out the Gary Moore guitar tone. I'm using the Boss Eban JS10, which has the Boss GT100 FX processor built into it. Uh, go ahead, look at the screen, look at the knob positioning as you would a clock, and I'll get you there. My settings will work with all your pedals, uh, stop boxes, computer based software effects, uh, any fractal audio 1, 2, 3, all your Line 6 Helix, your Line 6 Pod, GT1000, whatever you have, I'll get you there in the vicinity. Just go ahead and look at my screen. And real quick, I'm playing with my uh, Gibson Les Paul, which has the Marzio Super Distortion pickups. All right, this is great for a humbucker in the uh, rhythm position. So if you would like playing long, sustained, melodic bends, uh, melodic solos, this is a great tone patch. All right, let's go ahead and begin. We're going to select an amp. The amp I chose is going to be a MS-1951, I'm sorry, an MS-1959-1. Uh, in this case, that's the amp modeling that Boss uses to emulate a Marshall Plexi Input 1. So look for a Marshall Plexi 1959 Input 1. That's the amp I'm going to be using. Alright, the gain, it's a very awesome gain I have here. It's great for rhythm. I have it at 50. My effect level for this tone patch is at 50. When you dial this in, play with your effect level, alright? Uh, mine's kind of uh, right at the breakup point, which is great. But if you want to add more, go for it. If you want to add less, you can do that. There's some breathing room here. All right, I have my bass at 50, my middle at 50, my treble at 50, and my presence at zero. All right, next in the chain, we do not have any compressor. So the compressor effect is off, right? But we do have overdrive distortion. The uh, effect, These are all my effects, and those are all my uh, distortions and overdrives. I'm using a distortion. In this case, uh, that is going to be um, a Boss DS1 pedal. So the distortion pedal I'm using is the Boss DS1. That's the orange distortion pedal. So I'm using the Marshall Plexi 1959 amp with the gain uh, set at, what was the gain set at? The gain was set at 50, right? And then, hold on Pippi. And then I'm using a Boss distortion uh, DS1, that's the orange metal. All right, see the bottom right? It's on. Hold on, Pippi, hold on. Sorry about that, little Pippi. <laughs> Must to get in the video, but she can't. All right, I have my drive. This is my George Lynn secret. I have my drive on my distortion pedal at zero. My bottom is at plus 30. My tone is at zero, but my effect level is at 70. Well, why is that a George Lynn secret, Tony? Uh, because he likes to play with his uh, settings. If he has a distortion pedal or overdrive, so he has two main settings. One, he'll crank out the drive and lower the effect level. Then he'll do the opposite. He'll crank out the effect level, but turn the drive at zero. And then basically just have fun with it. So try that. All right, so I'm using the DS1 distortion pedal, and there is my settings. My drive is at zero. My bottom is at plus 30, tone is at zero, and my effect level is at 70. Uh, lock this tone in, and call it whatever you like to. I call it mine Gary Moore. Uh, and then go ahead and tweak it as you like. There's my noise gate. My noise gate is at 50. I do not have an EQ. There's no EQ on this, so you're in luck. There's no EQ settings for this. This is a straight tone patch. I don't have any modulations. Those are all my uh, modulations. I have no chorus, no plan, nothing going on there, okay? So just so you know, it's a very awesome Gary Moore tone. You can make it grittier by turning up the gain on the amp if you want to, but the distortion pedal for me stays the same. All right, what makes this tone soar and gives you really uh, ambient, sustained leads is the subtle, rich delay. It's very subtle, you can hear it, but it traipses off at the very end, so it's not overpowering. So play with your uh, delay settings. But that, I'm using uh, the Gary Moore delay. Mine's at 1,000 milliseconds. Yes, 1,000 milliseconds. My feedback is at 20, my high cut is at flat, and my effect level is at 50. If you look at your effect level, play with it. So when you plug it in and you start playing leads, hold the uh, bend a note and hold it for as long as you can. 
until it you know fades away and if you want more repeats or more sustain you can have fun with the effect level at the 50 you can put it to 58 62 64 just play with the effect level mine's at 50 and what you heard in my little demo was at 50 so again my delay is at 1000 feedback at 20 high cut flat so once you start playing with long bends check out your effect level on the delay Mine's at 50, but if you want to crank it out a little bit more, go for it. This is where you have fun with the Gary Moore delay, all right? And lastly, to round off this tone, I have uh, the Gary Moore, uh, my Gary Moore reverb. I'm using plate. You may have a bunch of different, like a whole bunch of different style of reverbs. I'm using plate, so try different reverbs. If you don't like plate, try them out. My reverb time is at 3.5. My high cut is at 4.00. And my effect level for this reverb is at 65. What you heard in my demo and what you saw me play is exactly what you have here on your screen. Your results will vary, obviously, um, but basically if you use a humbucker pickup in the neck position, you're going to sound really, really good. It's also great for the um, rhythm pickup, um, the bridge pickup. So go ahead and play a Telecaster, but boop, uh, crank it up to the uh, neck position bridge. I'm sorry, the neck position pickup. It's going to sound awesome. You got a Telecaster, play it in the neck position, it's going to sound really good. You got a double humbucker guitar, put it in the neck position, it's going to sound really, really good. The humbucker position is what Gary Moore used a lot in his playing uh, for those long melodic solos, and it just sounds really, really good. And if you want the backing track that I play along to, let me know. I can upload this separate backing track uh, separate so you can play along with it or jam to it, whatever you want to. So, but the backing track is separate. So if you want the backing track uh, that I played over, let me know and I'll be happy to upload that for you. All right, that is my Gary Moore guitar tone patch. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below. Any requests, again, leave them below. Um, I'm trying to crank these out. But with the Corona China virus out there, you know, and with working and so forth, and staying in quarantine mode with Pippi. <laughs> It's kind of difficult to see behind the camera because my little girl, she's getting older, Pippi, and she's really, really more dependent on me as far as uh, companionship and uh, she's more touchy-feely because she's almost blind and she's almost totally deaf. And so she's relying a lot on her sense of smell and touch. And so I'm always picking her up and, you know, uh, giving her comfort that way and sitting next to her and making sure she can see me or smell me. So, you're all telling me, what's this going to do with Gary Moore? <laughs> just nothing. I just I understand that, hey, where's the videos from Tony? More than likely, I'm with Pippi. <laughs> so, I'm not neglecting you guys out there. But, um, by all means, um, go ahead and uh, let me see if I can shoot you, Pippi. No, she's resting. All right, anyway, so uh, give me a shout out. Or just, you know, drop me a message. Uh, anywhere you like on the comments and say hey Tony where's the next video or, or when can you do this video on this tone patch and I'll be happy to respond to you and get, get it out to you alright so just to let you know I hope everyone out there is safe all the new subscribers thank you so much for watching my channel subscribing and uh, hit that like button and if you don't like this video uh, send it to one of your haters that way they'll have 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back alright so if we have uh, some haters out there, just go ahead and send this video to your haters. <laughs> and that way there will be 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back. Alright, I'm Tony. I'm about to sign off. Thank you so much for watching this. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you all real soon. Alright, stay safe. Now it's time for to hang out with Pippi. Alright, bye.